Då sa <coughs> tv kvalitetskontroll också veckans program. De måste vara här. Det är lag på det. I kväll är det sista programmet för säsongen och då har vi också spart den tyngsta gästen till nu. Från Gary, Indiana via Kalifornien kommer den yngsta i syskonskaran Jackson. Här kommer vår absoluta soulfavorit, den bedårande Janet Jackson! Pleasure to be here. Thank Great. you. Tell me, how how did you get to Sweden? Did you uh, come by plane or boat? Yes, by <laughs> by plane. By plane. All right. Yeah. Do you have like your own private jet? Uh, no. 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 So so uh, how does that work? I've really been wondering about that. Do you sit with the other uh, business people uh, in their suits? Uh, yes. Uh, there are times when we take private planes, so okay. we charter a private and go from country to country, city to city. Okay, but this time you came with with the yes, regular. With the crew, the, the, all the dancers, myself. All right. Yeah. But does it happen that you end up like with a businessman from Texas uh, that you don't know because you're sitting there? Uh, no, well, I normally sit next to someone I know. So, all right. Yeah, okay, so but he can sit behind you or something? Uh, well, security sits behind me. So all right, so you, they got you boxed in. You basically, yes. All right. What do you do on the airplane? Uh, sleep. <laughs> okay. Catch up on my sleep. Did, did you watch any movies coming here? Uh, no, I have my computer, but I didn't bring any DVDs. So. Oh, so you could watch a new... Yes. All right, you have one of those. I what is guess. it, an app, Apple or...? Uh, uh, G4, the, the... Oh, yeah. The, yeah. The Apple. Yeah. <laughs> the powerful <laughs> Apple. Okay. Did you read any books? On the uh, way? No, I, you know, I, it, it's been so hectic lately that I was so bummed out I forgot to bring a book. Not even one book? No, and wow. all I could think about was getting rest, really. Okay. Um, and I had jet lag, so that so was So if difficult. you fall asleep now during the interview, it's all right. We okay. know why. <laughs> You'll forgive me. Yeah, we'll forgive okay. you. Okay. We're very happy to have you here. Uh, your new single sounds great. Thank you. And it, it seems like it's a happy, uh, uh, positive Janet Jackson. Is yes. It, is the whole album going to be that way? Yes, I mean, there is some edgy stuff on it, but for the most part, it's, it's a very up album, very happy, okay. optimistic album. I'm, and I'm in a good space. You are? Yeah, that's what, the yeah, one yeah. I was going to ask. So you're feeling good? I you, feel great, yes. How has your life changed uh, between these two albums, the last one and, and uh, now this one? Uh, drastically, tremendously it's how? changed. Um, well, uh, I, Velvet What was very difficult. It was my most uh, introspective album that I had done. Uh, I was going through, a, a, you know, how we go through our, our downswings, our depressions, and yeah. that was happening at, happening at that time. And I'm in a just completely different space. Um, I'm single. Once again, I'm not married anymore, mm -hmm. and it's, I, it's and that is happier, you would say. For me, yes. Okay. All right. <laughs> yes, yes, it's been very good for okay. me. <laughs> In what way? Uh, well, you know, I'm doing something that I never did before for the first time. That's dating. Right. In my life. So. Yeah, I heard that. You do a lot of dating. You're, you're like well, Ellie McBeal. Well, I don't know, but well, <laughs> I, w I wouldn't say a lot, but I do my my share. You were married uh, to a man for eight years, who you divorced. Uh, <laughs> yes. I'm sorry. You said you were married to a man, right? Yeah. So that I, I just thought oh, that was funny. You, okay. Yeah, I was married. For <laughs> <laughs> well, I have to be very specific. <laughs> but but what, what I was wondering about the marriage was that nobody didn't know. Nobody knew about this. Mm, no, there the was press some. press didn't find out. No, thank God. Why was it important for you to keep that marriage a secret? Well, it, I, I, it's really difficult being married, I feel, in this business and to, to have some sort of normalcy, to, to, to try and make it work. It lasted for eight years, which I think was really a, quite a bit of time, which normally in this business it doesn't mm. last very long at all. Mm. We were together for 13 years. Wow. Um, yeah, a long time. Yeah, you were young then. Uh, yeah, that was my, my second marriage, too. It was your second marriage? Yes. All right. 
Yeah, I was married before then. But why, 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 what, what would happen if people would have found out? Why did you keep it a secret? I, we, we wanted our privacy. Okay. We thought that was very important. All right. And I think that's why it lasted as, lasted as long as it did. All right. Yeah. Do you think you'll ever get married again? I don't know. You don't know? All right. I don't, I, you know, I'm not opposed to it, but I, I just... I kind of feel like Elizabeth Taylor uh, oh. with all the... <laughs> How does she feel? <laughs> well, I'll, I don't want to be on my eighth marriage and still uh, okay. searching for someone. So I, d I don't know. I, it's in God's hands. If it happens again, it happens. If it doesn't... Do you feel the pressure when you're dating that you have to find somebody to spare, uh, get old with? Or are you just enjoying it? No, I'm enjoying it because Good. I've, I've uh, pretty much all my life been in relationships. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm having a great time. It's nothing serious, meeting different people and mm -hmm. just enjoying life. Good. That's good. You were born extremely famous. I mean, you've been famous all your life. Yeah. And uh, that must, I mean, that must, some days that must be pretty hard. Would you agree? Mm, yes, it is. Uh, you just want to kind of blend in at times, and yeah. you can't. If, if I'd give you like a week when nobody would recognize you, what would the first thing you'd do? The first thing that I would do? Yeah. Probably go to an amusement park. Wow. I love it, like Magic Mountain or something like that, yeah. and just ride the rides and have a good time with everyone else. I like being in crowds, but unfortunately... You don't want to get recognized. Well, it's not that I don't want to be recognized. It's just very difficult. Mm -hmm. um, or going to a store, sometimes you have to go after hours, so they close the whole right. store for you to shop. And I just like mingling, I just kind of yeah. mixing in with everybody else. But it, it's but really difficult. Uh, but you could close down a, uh, like a big amusement park as well, come after hours. Well, just I have. I, yeah, I have before, actually. You yes. have done that? Yes. All right. I know your brother uh, actually closed down Lisa Batty, which is uh, our amusement park down in Gotham. Oh, he did? Yeah, when he was uh, with the... Uh, um, yeah, visiting here, like 10 years ago or something. Yeah, that sounds like Michael. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it was Michael, right? Yeah, yeah I'm assuming, Michael. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, how is Michael doing? He's good. He's good? Yeah. Do you keep in touch? Uh, I keep in touch with all my family. Okay. Yeah. Who, who of your, all your sisters and brothers are you closest to? Who am I closest to? At the moment, I'd say my mother. Okay. Really. More so than my sisters and brothers. All right. Yeah, and growing up, I was closer to my brothers and sisters. Well, Michael and I were the closest in the entire family growing up. Yeah. Yeah, we did everything together. But I understand you don't really have these big uh, Christmas parties with the whole family coming together. Right? Well, uh, we didn't celebrate Christmas <coughs> growing up. Religious. Oh, right, that's right. But like, yeah. okay, some, something else, Bir birthdays or something like that. No, okay. didn't celebrate that either. All right. I had my first birthday and party when I was 23 years old, so that was really interesting. Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, And that's a religious kind of thing. That you well, but my mother was... It still is a Jehovah's Witness. I'm not, but mm -hmm. so, you, you know, you follow your parents' religion growing up. Mm -hmm. And we never celebrated that or Halloween or Easter, none of those things. So I understand life was really that you want to go to amusement us. parks now and celebrate. <laughs> <laughs> kind of living out your, uh, reliving your childhood in a sense. Yeah. Can you feel that you're doing that with all the dating? I, and... I definitely am. I, I really am. How would you shortly uh, describe your chi childhood? Uh, it was work, all work. I have started working when I was seven years old. Right. And I really haven't stopped since. That's true. But now you understand that you can have fun and work. Yes, and okay. I am. Okay. Oh, I can understand that. I heard you were dancing in, in Germany the other week to like 5 o'clock in the morning. Was it? Well, yeah, yeah. it was. <laughs> Dave. <laughs> that was late. I, did, I didn't realize it was. And then I, I thought, yeah, day was breaking, so it must have been. And, and do you dance this kind of dance? Jen Jackson dance? Like that? Or, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do you do that? No, I like to watch. When I other en people dance. Yeah, I like I enjoy watching. But I, I mean, I'll get out and dance once in a while. But I, I enjoy watching people have fun. All right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, let me just ask you finally a, a question about your music. Uh, what music are you inspired by? If you would m mention like three uh, all-time top favorite songs. It's it's really difficult because growing up, I I had several different. Uh, I was influenced by different types of music, from classical to Brazilian jazz. Wow. So many different kids in the family. Mm -hmm. So, like, my sister was into classical, Paganini, Stravinsky. I mean, lots of different things to rock, to pop, okay. so it's really hard. For myself, I mean, mm -hmm. the first song that I remember really loving as a kid was Hot Fun in the Summertime by uh, Sly and the Family Stone. How does that go? Can you sing a little bit? No, I'm embarrassed. <laughs> Come on. No, I'm embarrassed. I can sing one of your songs for you. It, it, you know which one is my favorite of your, all your songs? What's that? It's from the last album. It's, it's the Together Again. There are happy. times when I look up all right. Go ahead, go, 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 go. Everywhere. Oh. <laughs> okay. 
Oh, no, you said you do. Everywhere I go, every smile I see, I know you are there, <laughs> looking back at me. <laughs> yes! Okay. Okay. <laughs> You know what? That song me and my wife were listening to uh, when our baby daughter grew up back in 1997. We listened to it every day. You did. We were dancing with her on it. You did. Yeah? I'm glad you enjoyed it. Do you it. remember when you wrote that song? Uh, yes, I was in, at the Four Seasons Hotel in New York. You're kidding. Mm -mm. You remember exactly where you were? Mm-hmm. And, and how does that... Was it at nighttime or in the daytime? Or? Uh, it was day. Okay. In the day. Yeah. And I was dancing with my baby daughter. Do you think you'll ever have a baby daughter? I don't even know if I'll ever have a baby. I'm not sure. I okay. mean, now that I'm not married, it's the weirdest thing. I mean, the, the idea has crossed my mind mm -hmm. to have children. I never thought I really would. Mm -hmm. But see, I have a lot of nieces and nephews, so... Oh, so they're like half babies, too. So you can yeah, take care of them. Yeah, it's like 26 or 25 26. of them. That's yeah. too many. It's a lot. That's too yeah. many. Uh, I'm such a big fan of yours. Uh, I'm, I've never done this before, but I'd, I'd like to know if you could um, give me an, your autograph. If, if you could sign my stomach. Is that all right? Sure. You think you can do that? <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Oh. I'll never take a shower again. <laughs> can You're I sign be your stomach? You're pretty funky. <laughs> You want to? You may I? What about my arm? I'm not gonna, I'm gonna my stomach? No, I'm not going to. Oh, that's a good I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. May I? so much for coming here. Good luck in the future. Uh, we have something called the angry game that we end every interview with. <laughs> Are you familiar with that? It's like a child's game. It's a staring contest. Uh, and the first See one who starts breaks? laughing loses. Uh-huh. Do you want to play that with me? So, oh, I play with you? Yeah. Do you so, want to do, wait, wait, do you if want you to? want me to. Okay, great. My heart is uh, pounding <laughs> because of the autograph. Okay. Are you ready? Okay. Janet Jackson, the angry game starts now. Ja, jag vänder mig till kvalitetskontrollen där bakom. Hur tycker ni att det går, gubbar? Jo då, bara du sitter så du ska. Ja. Hur tyckte ni intervjun gick med Janet? Hon satt fint. Ja, hon satt fint. Okej, okay. det är viktigt hur man sitter. Jag är mycket för det här med disciplin, det är rätt. Hörrni, gå in på vår hemsida, där får ni fler frågor till Janet Jackson. Exklusivt bara för The Internet. Och på hemsidan www.tv4.se får ni också läsa om nästa veckas program. Det här är ju säsongsavslutning, men nästa vecka så kommer det ett bakom kulisserna program. Vad händer? Hur gör man sen kväll med Som en receptsamling som ni kan ta del av. Nu kommer Dan Bäckman.